I'm probably the only person that picks their husband's deodorant based on whether or not it smells like a Disney ride. Hey everybody, it's Becky. Welcome back to my channel. I have another Disney video for you guys, and I did a video just like this when we went to Disney in May. It was kind of a pre-Disney haul of all the things that I picked up to get ready to go on that trip. And you really seem to like that video, so I thought I would do it again for this trip to Disney since we are going again in the fall. Um, so just kind of a bunch of different clips of things that I have picked up to get ready to go. You know how it is. You've always got to make sure you've got enough stuff to get you through while you're gone. And um, for me, I like to try to pack as much early as I can. So a lot of times that means getting doubles of things, one to use at home and one to pack. So quite a few things that I have picked up here and there over the last few weeks to get ready to go. There's two things though that I wanted to show you a little bit more in detail. And the first thing, and we did this back in May and you guys loved seeing these. The first thing that we got for our trip to Disney, since they worked out so well when we went in May, are these Magic Band decals from the shop called Shop Emily G. She actually has an Etsy store and now a website. So, so many of these Magic Band decals that literally come off of this sheet here and are like a vinyl sticker that you put over your Magic Band and I'm gonna show you what they look like when they're all put on. Um, but we really enjoyed having those for our Magic Bands when we went in May. It just really makes your vacation more fun and more custom and more personalized when everybody can have their own Magic Band decal. They're really, really, really inexpensive, like surprisingly inexpensive. They lasted the entire trip for us when we went in May through the entire, over a week of wearing them every day and sweating and putting them on and taking them off and all that stuff. They lasted really, really well. So for this trip, my oldest daughter picked out this Beauty and the Beast inspired one, which is really pretty. My youngest daughter picked out this Rapunzel one. And she liked it because it was Rapunzel, but it's also like orange and black colors, so it looks kind of Halloween-ish too, so she picked that one. My husband, being the all-American that he is, picked out the American flag inspired one. And me, little girl at heart, I picked out the candy corn with the mouse ears. Look how cute this is. And it's even glittery. So I'm really, really excited. There was a bunch of other designs that I wanted, but I went ahead and got the candy corn just because we are going in the fall. We are going to the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. And I thought, when else am I gonna go in the fall? and be able to use a candy corn Mickey and Minnie Magic Band decal. So I picked that one up for me. So I will have the Shop Emily G website linked for you guys in the description box. She has tons of designs already pre-made and you can also make custom orders. So if it's something that you really want to go the extra mile and give it, get it personalized and made just for you, then definitely check out her custom Magic Band decal option as well. So I'll have that linked. The other thing that we really, really needed for this trip, and we've had one in the past, but it was kind of dying, is a portable cell phone and tablet charger. You guys know that if you're going on any vacation, you pretty much see everybody using their phones to take pictures and do video, and we are no different. I have finally joined that club where I use my cell phone pretty much all primarily for photos and videos, even on vacation. It scared me at first. I was like, I want my camcorder, but I just don't have enough hands to take pictures with one thing and video with another and then the backpack and the sunscreen and the kids' hands, you know. So I really have learned to embrace using my cell phone to take pictures and video while we're on vacation. But the bad thing about using your phone so much to do videos and pictures, and then at Disney, you need your phone for the My Disney Experience app, you're making fast passes, you're checking your dining reservations, you're doing all that stuff. Your battery on your phone is going to run out really, really quickly. So we bring our own portable cell phone charger. We've had one for a few years, but it's literally like on its last leg. And we needed one that was strong enough to charge my husband's phone and my phone at the same time. So we actually picked up the Anchor 26800 charger. This one's quite a bit bigger than the one we had, but you can actually charge three things at once with this one charger. So you can charge phones, you can charge your tablet, whatever you need, up to three things at a time. I think it's gonna be worth its weight in gold to be able to charge both of our cell phones at the same time. Also, if you bring your tablet, which I haven't decided yet if we're gonna bring our tablet or not. So anything you need to charge that uses a USB port, you can charge up to three things at the same time really, really fast. That's one thing that I think is really a must for any vacation pretty much nowadays is some type of portable cell phone charger. And Anchor makes great products. I've got their robotic vacuum which is amazing. So they were a great choice when it came to looking for a uh, portable cell phone charger. So if you are in the market for a portable cell phone charger that is really, really strong, really, really fast, and can charge up to three things at once, 
then definitely look into the Anchor 26800 because I think it's going to be a great option for us and I'm sure it's going to be a great option for you guys too. So time to throw the old one away and we have upgraded to this one. So now I'm going to show you everything else kind of like I did in the last video I did back in May, kind of vlog style just as I get things and kind of as I pick things up when we go to the store. Um, everything we picked up to get ready for our trip to Disney. So if you Okay guys, this is not the most elaborate haul, but these are the first two things purchased for Disney World trip number two for October 2018. I got some socks before we went to our trip to Disney in May, but I'm just constantly running out of socks. So I got another pack of my favorite socks and I got another thing of sunscreen. I do have one more of these downstairs that I already opened. This one's still sealed. If you watch that haul I did, like the pre-Disney haul I did back in May, I talked about the sunscreen that I got and it was absolutely horrendous. It was not the same one that I thought that I had used in previous years. It was still the Alba Botanica, but it was like the mineral spray sunscreen and it was atrocious. It was greasy and chunky and nasty. And so I realized when I was on vacation that I had gotten the wrong kind. So this one is another one that's good that we, we have used before. I'm sure, and it works really well. And there's another one that is green, um, but it's not the mineral one, and it works really good too. But the green mineral one was absolutely disgusting. But I got two things of sunscreen and then a set of my socks, my favorite socks. This is a six pack. So these are the first two official items of our Disney trip 2018. Okay, I picked up a few things. You saw that I got some more socks for me. My youngest daughter also needed some socks, so this is the ones that we usually get her from Kohl's. They're really, really soft, and they were buy one, get one half, so I got two packs of socks for her. And then Victoria's Secret was having an awesome sale on their underwear. I think they're normally like $10 or $12 a piece, and they were $3 a piece on this sale. So I'm not going to open them up and get all weird, but I've been needing to restock my underwear. So I got 10 pairs of underwear, which would be obviously good to have here at home, and then to have enough on vacation. And then also our favorite hand sanitizers that we use on vacation and at home. I keep one of these in my purse at all times. And then we obviously take one in our park bag to Disney. This is the Honest Company hand sanitizer spray. This is the Grapefruit Grove smell. It's not my favorite scent. I really like the citrus one they had better. This is a more natural version of a hand sanitizer than a lot of the stuff you'll get. Uh, just regular stuff, regular hand sanitizer or gel. I don't feel as bad about putting this on me or my kids. Now, obviously, using soap and water is the best thing to do, but especially at Disney, you don't always have time to get to a bathroom to wash your hands. So this is really good before eating or after riding something or touching something gross. I got four of these, and the Honest Company actually has a bundle package offer on their website. There's a couple different bundles that you can pick from that include different trial sizes of some of their more popular products, and all you do is pay shipping. So it's a really good way to try out a lot of different products that they have without having to buy the full size. So I'll have a link for you guys in the description box if you want to check that out and look into their bundles. But I got four of those, that'll last a while. And then I got another pack of my contact solution. This is the Clear Care uh, with Peroxide. It's what my eye doctor told me to use to clean my contacts. So I got another pack of those. Okay, so I picked up a few more things for our trip to Disney. We always get cups from the Dollar Tree, like plastic cups to use in the car. On the way to Disney, while we're in the hotel, they never give you enough cups, and I hate to keep asking for more cups, and then on the way home. So last time I had only gotten one pack, and we ran out, so I got two 16-packs of these. We use them for drinks, obviously, and then in the car, I'll bring the girls' favorite cereal, like breakfast cereal, and sometimes they'll have that as a snack. So we can also put them in the car and use them as a bowl. So I got two of those. I got two more of my uh, eye drops that I use with my contacts. So, I mean, obviously I don't need two boxes for a vacation, but they were on sale, and so I, got, I went ahead and got two. So one will, go, one will stay packed in my bag in the resort, and the other one I will put in my um, park bag. I got another of my brow pencil. I had to go ahead and bust it open and use it this morning, but I really like the Maybelline Define and Fill Duo. It's got powder on the end. I don't ever use the powder. I just use the pencil part of it, but I really like how fine the point is. So I got another one of those in blonde even though i'm not blonde i'm a redhead i got another of my favorite under eye concealer because i'm almost out and then i picked up my husband's deodorant this is like the most random thing ever but we basically get this deodorant because this scent smells like pandora the ride it's got like a orangey kind of smell i don't know you would have to smell it to know what i'm talking about but 
I'm probably the only person that picks their husband's deodorant based on whether or not it smells like a Disney ride. I also forgot to share, I got this at walmart.com. It's really hard for me to find the Color Stay Normal to Dry foundation in porcelain, which is the color that I wear. And I have a different foundation that I typically wear around town, just normal day life stuff. But when I'm going somewhere that I know I'm going to be sweating a lot, I like to use the Color Stay. So I bought one of these before I went to Disney in May, and it worked out really well. So I picked up another one so that I can make sure that my makeup stays on all day long in the Florida heat. Okay, so we just got home from Ulta. I had to pick up a few things and I was almost out of my micellar water. I've never tried this one before, but it just sounded so nice to have the coconut oil daily hydration. So I picked this one up this time. I really use it mostly after I've washed my face to get off any last traces of makeup and dirt and all that stuff. But I picked that up because I knew I was going to run out of the one I'm using right now before we go on vacation. Same thing with this. This is the Stila Shimmer and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in Cloud is the color. I love this. I've already got this one. I use it like almost every day. It works really well. Uh, lasts really long. The only bad thing is once you get down towards the bottom, it's really hard to get it out. It's kind of a plummy brown, if that makes any sense. And I just love this. It's got a lot of shine to it. So I picked up another one of those because I'm just going to pack this one and then leave the one at home that I'm using because I don't want to take one on vacation that's almost empty. If I sound stuffy, by the way, it's because I am. I thought I was getting sick, but I do think it's allergies. So hopefully, while either before we go down to Disney or while we're down there, whatever's making me sneeze and stuffy will stop um, because it's really annoying. But anyway, I picked up another one of those. And then, as usual, I picked up, I did this my last pre-Disney haul, my favorite mascara. This one I just now opened. I'm going to go pack this one right now. This one I'm just going to leave here at home. I don't need two mascaras to go for a week. I just got some tissues. I wanted to get the cute ones from the Dollar Tree, like they have My Little Pony, and I think you get more than three for a dollar, but I was already at Target, I think, is where I got these, maybe Walmart. So I went ahead and picked these up just to have one in the car pack and then one for each girl in the back seat. These things I never buy unless I'm going on vacation or just I get a really good deal because they're super expensive. If you guys know me, though, you know that I do not wear shorts out in public at home. I wear them around the house, and I wear them on my YouTube videos sometimes, and I wear them on vacation, but I do not wear them at home just like out and about. I don't know why. I just don't feel comfortable doing it. So I just use a regular razor, but sometimes they're kind of hard on my legs. I have sensitive leg skin. Not that you needed to know that, but there you go. Um, but when we're going on vacation, and I'm wearing shorts every day, and you know, you want to make sure your legs look as nice as they can. So in addition to using the... BB Body. I use this instead of self-tanner. This has actually been discontinued and I had to get it off eBay. That's how desperate I was. But anyway, so like when I'm on vacation, I'm trying to make sure my legs look as good as possible. So I want to make sure they don't have weird bumps or anything that typical razors can give me. And these things are amazing. There's only six in the box and it was like 20 something dollars, but they are so good. They have to look these moisturizing things around. So I get these whenever we go on vacation. So I picked up a pack of those. And then of course, just, you know, this is not exciting and nobody wants to talk about it or think about it, but sometimes that happens on vacation and I don't know if it's going to or not. Um, so, you know, always make sure I've got plenty of those before a trip anywhere. I also needed some new tennis shoes to wear, so I got these that are coming in the mail to me. And then the girls, the girls that have some shoes that look better with their costumes than just regular tennis shoes. So these are the ones that my oldest daughter picked out. And then my youngest daughter on these that look really good with her Cheshire Cat costume. And then they're cute and she can wear them any other time during the year. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And hit that little notification bell next to it so you'll know anytime I upload a new video. And one more thing, I have a Disney playlist link for you guys in the description box. Every single Disney video I've ever made about packing and planning and saving money and going to Disney with kids and all of that stuff is in that playlist, so definitely check it out if you'd like to see some more Disney videos, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of this video. If you want to see two of my older videos, you can click the links right here, and if you want to subscribe to my channel, if you haven't already, and you definitely should, you can click right here. I upload every single week. I have some links in the description box for some of my favorite stores and products, as well as my P.O. Box address. Check out those links if you're interested in those, and I will see you guys in the next video.